Hello, everybody. My name is Nate Cardo, the professor of this information technology area. We are working on the areas of AI, 6G, IoT, wireless communications, security, etc. Those are the most important and advanced technologies for the future human society. My lab especially welcome a Max student, Japanese government scholarship student. Max represents Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science, and Technology, Japan. Tohoku University is one of the oldest imperial universities in Japan, located in Sendai. By bullet train from Tokyo, only one hour and 30 minutes. Times Higher Education ranking in Japan ranked the Tohoku University as number one university in 2019 and 2020 for two consecutive years. Our lab covers the most advanced areas like AI, 6G, IoT, security, just as I mentioned. We are a well-funded laboratory supported by government and many major companies in Japan. This lab was established in 2003. So far, 29 PhD students and 87 master students have graduated. For the PhD graduates, many of them have become professors, associate professors in Japan and around the globe. Among them, more than 20 were max students, coming from more than 10 countries. Our lab is publishing more than 20 papers every year in the highest ranking journals in the world. As academic ac activities, I'm serving as the Editor-in-Chief of IEEE Transactions on Vehicular Technology and the Vice President of IEEE Communications Society. I'm also the Dean of Graduate School of Information Sciences, Tohoku University. Today, I invited the two assistant professors who are working with me in the laboratory as faculty members, Tiago san and Shikar san who were also Max student before, and Chi Guo san who is now a Max student working toward a PhD to talk about their study and life in Sendai. Hi, my name is Thiago Rodriguez and I'm originally from Brazil. I came to Japan in 2014 and I've been in Tokyo University since then. Here I finished my master's degree, my doctor's degree, and now I am an assistant professor under Tohoku University. I chose Kato Lab because by looking at the list of achievements in the website, I could see that here it's possible for you to not only do research that stays on theory, but something that can become practical, something that's going to be real and help real people. So I never wanted to do research for papers, I wanted to do research to help people and I think when looking at, what, at the history of this, this lab, I had the impression that here I could achieve that goal and make things that would be tangible and help people in real life. Right now I'm working on cloud computing systems and how to integrate them with networks and make them more efficient. I really enjoy working in Kato Lab, I feel that here I am valued as a worker, as a research, I feel that all my hard work has value and people really appreciate me for that. And they also give me a lot of support in my research. I feel that I'm never working alone. I can get feedback from other students, from the other professors, and they we're always helping each other, give us a point of view and making each other's grow. I feel that it's a very good work environment for research and for getting results done. I really also enjoy living in Sendai, I feel it's a very good city. It's not too small, it's not too big, it's very convenient, there's always stores nearby and there's a lot of things to see, but it's also not too big, so it's easy to go other places, it's the traffic's never crowded, the subway is very convenient, it's never full, and if you want to go to more big cities, it's very easy to go from Sendai to there, from Sendai to Tokyo, Sendai to Osaka, it's very quick, and you can always come back very quickly, and still enjoy the good points of the city. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Shikha, I am from India. I am working as a research assistant professor in this lab. I received Max's scholarship to pursue master's degree in the field of information science. I chose Tohoku University as my first choice because Tohoku University is one of the top three national universities in Japan, producing high quality research around the world. Kato Lab at Tohoku University is one of the leading laboratories in the field of information science. 
and publishing more than 25 impact factor publications every year. Kato Lab is also diverse lab at the Hope University, having foreign professors and students, which provides international exposure to our students. Kato Lab is also very active in sports, so this motivated me to choose, choose Kato Lab to pursue my master's and PhD as next scholar. Currently, I am doing research on next generation 60 networks, the Internet of Things, and cyber security. During my study in this lab, I have received constructive feedback from Professor Kato and other professors, which helped me to improve my research skills. The students in Kato Lab are also very helpful, which makes it easier after coming to Japan. During my study, I have published high impact factory journals. Sendai is one of the Japan's greenest city and most diverse collection of natural places, such as mountains, beaches, mountains, and so on. It has also the convenience of big cities, such as malls, restaurants, and so on. Shopping arcades. It is connected to every other city in Japan by the train, which is very convenient for traveling. There are several festivals for each season to enjoy with nice weather. So, my life in Sunday is very close to nature and also with all convenience of the big city. Thank you very much for watching this video and you are welcome to join our lab. Thank you very much. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Xibo and I'm from China. I will study for my PhD degree in control lab in the next three years. Well, as Professor said before, Toho University is one of the oldest universities in Japan, and Professor Kato and the Kato lab members have made lots of, lots of lost research results in wireless communication related fields. So, I think it's a good choice to study in the Kato lab. My research topic is focused on network control technology, which is based on edge computing and federated learning. I think it's an interesting topic, so I'm excited about the research every day. Every day in the lab is busy but also very fulfilling. If you got some questions, you can just talk with other members or discuss with professor. Everyone in the lab is very nice. In general, Life in Sendai is comfortable and pleasant. The snowy winter is beautiful and the weather in spring is very comfortable. The large shopping malls in Sendai are clustered together, so shopping is also very convenient. It's a very nice city. Thank you for watching this content. I hope those information are helpful and we are looking forward to welcoming you in the near future. Please feel free to contact the following address for more information you need. And we are happy to set an online talk with you anytime. Thank you again for watching.